down here with the 720 Explorer hardtop cruise craft. This has been a great partnership with Garmin and Cruise Craft over the last four years. As we've evolved with the product, we've been able to evolve with the boat. This boat gets towed up and down the coastline on the easy tow trailer, full alloy trailer, drive on, drive off. Cruise Craft offer a great standard package, but as you can see, they'll let you go to the extreme if you want, and it offers some of the best electronics in the world. And here we can see, we can showcase it here with a great Cruise Craft Garmin package. We've got the extensive helm set up. We've got the Garmin 22 inch 8422, the seven inch gauge, the Garmin 8416 16 inch. We've got the nine inch screen down the back on the bait board. We've got the autopilot head unit, the grid remote control, uh, we're integrating the VHF radios, the radar with the open array and the fusion stereo system as well. So on the, on the 22 inch here at the main helm, we've got the radar overlay here. So this is Garmin's 120 watt 1224 with a four foot open array bar. We have two benefits here. We've got collision avoidance. So we can see here, we've got some markers on here. We can see they show up. And the second main feature that we can also use radar for is uh, weather detection. So we've got a long range weather. In this one in particular, we've got 96 nautical miles that we can check. And we can actually see any weather fronts coming through. We can navigate uh, accordingly to miss any storms or any bad weather coming. We've got a couple of options. We have the GT51, which is the standard transducer for cruise craft that they fit out on this vessel. We've also got a one kilowatt pocket mounted transducer, which has a low high wide, giving us a high wide frequency for the uh, 25 degree beam and the low frequency for the deeper offshore fishing. We also have side view and down view that's included into the GT51. So that goes up to 260 kilohertz. So that's gonna give us the deepest possible side view and down view on the market. Good for about 80 or 90 meters. So that's fantastic for all sorts of fishing. Then we also have the PS30 on this boat as well. So that gives us the, the real view down, the historical bottom reading and the live view down as well. So covering all options possible with the transducers on this boat, we've got some great features here. Stepping into the traditional sonar on this vessel, we've got the one kilowatt. So as we can see here, we've got the pocket mount, which is a really good option. The guys have actually mounted this into the keel, giving the best possible chance of holding bottom at speed. We've got the high wide frequency, we've got the low frequency. So we've got a few great features here. We've got the zoom. Okay, so we can actually magnify some windows. So what we've got here is we can actually bring this magnification across. We can actually see what we're doing. We can actually change the zoom amount on the window. So see it's changing here. So we've gone to four by. We can have a look, get a good look inside in the zoom. Okay, we've then just got the normal pinch to zoom as well that we can do and we can move in and have a look as well or no zoom okay we've got a couple of other uh, features set here so we've got the TVG which is timing variable gain so that, that allows us to actually gain in the section that we want to if we want to see more of the bottom if we want to see more of the top for the trolling we can actually dictate where we'd like to see the game work best Okay, we also have a shift feature. The shift feature is a great feature for when you want to actually concentrate on an area of fishing uh, rather than the zoom, which is a little bit of an overinflation. The shift actually gives us a concentration. So we can actually shift that down and actually get a window and get a better look at the sounder in the area that we want to look at. So on this one in particular, we also have the side view. So again, we've got the GT51, has all the T G TVG features and the shift features as well but the big, biggest biggest feature with the 51 is the 260 kilohertz. So 260 gives us the, the, the best depth on the market than any other competitor's product. So we actually see about 80 or 90 meters uh, with the 260. It also has the 455 as well, the GT51, to give you some more shallow water stuff. Then we have the, down, the, the clear view here as well. So just giving us the structure scan. Um, Great feature, got everything else as well, got the TVG and everything and the 260 kilohertz as well on the down. And we also are running the PS30 on this vessel. So this has, uh, this has three different views. There's the historical view. So this is where it's actually painting a picture of the bottom. And as you can see, we can have a, a pan and tilt on that, giving us a really good outlook of what edges and, and ledges and rocks that we're looking at. And then we have the live side of it. So now we can actually see fish swimming around live under the transducer. So 
so we can actually target with our jigs and our, uh, our soft plastics and stuff, we can actually target the fish and see them actually physically attacking the bait. This one also comes with the real live down as well. Okay, so this is live under us. This is a combination of the other two, the other two uh, sonar views. So another great feature we've got here is that we can actually scroll back on our sonar screens. As we can see, we've got a school of fish here. We've actually got some fish over here as well. We can pinpoint the fish. We can mark a waypoint. This will put a waypoint back on where the fish were on the GPS. So as these ones are out to the side here, it'll actually mark it out to the side as well. So Garmin have the three different charting options that comes with the latest charts that you can purchase. So the navigational chart, as you can see, will give you more information navigational wise, telling us some information. There's a bait club here, Coast Guard available here. Then we have the fishing chart. The fishing chart actually will have more fishing contours, so giving us much more fishing information. And with the latest uh, Garmin G3 vision charts, you can also add the relief shading. So the relief shading's given us a great underwater view of the pinnacles and the risers. Absolutely unbelievable feature for the fishing. We don't actually need some GPS marks. We can see here, we can see this dark shading coming along here. So this is, this is a wall or an edge along here. You can see the depth is dropping off. So a great place to start to look, uh, to go fishing. It's another little ed edge here. So just, give, just giving you starting points to actually start to look at and uh, have a look at where you'd want to go fishing. Where the contour lines are running along, the relief shading actually paints a picture of where you would like to be fishing along. Having a look at a canyon, we can see the canyon running through here. We can see some really big ledges along here. So just giving us some great advantages where to start looking when we want to be, in this case, could be trolling out in these depths. But we can see that canyon that's just out here off lookout giving you a great picture of exactly how the canyon runs. So the GME radio is standard in the uh, 720, but as you can see in this vessel, we've upgraded to the two Garmin radios. We've got the handset piece one down here and the hard unit up the top, allowing us to have a couple of extra features. It's got the AIS on the screen so we can view and see other vessels. One of the other great features with the integration is the SOS. So what this is, is a full scripted on-screen setup where we can now actually see what we have to say, we can actually talk to the Coast Guard and it gives us a full script on how to do a SOS situation. So one of the other upgrades we've got in this vessel is the Garmin InReach. InReach is a great safety feature, allowing us 99% world coverage for SOS reasons. We can actually text an authority if there's a situation that's happening in the vessel, any emergencies, or even simply just getting back to family and friends when you're away from port. So using the Quadic 6 watch, we have a couple of features here, but one of the cool features is we can actually control the Garmin Autopilot. So we just select the pilot, it's just connecting there. So now we can actually go into piloting. We can actually change the heading. We have a fish counter, so we can actually keep track of how many fish we've caught the day. We've got boat data, so we can actually stream enemy A2000 data, get information from that, boat speed depths. We also have a fusion link feature as well, so we can actually control our stereo system from our watch as well. Cruisecraft standard fusion stereo system is the RA55 with the two six and a half inch standard speakers. If you get a hard top, you will get the two four inch speakers as well. But as you can see with this setup, this has all been upgraded. They give you the option to go to the premium sound system. We've got the RA770, got four speakers in the hard top, two six and a half inch upgraded signature speakers with the 10 inch sub and the amplifier as well for premium sound quality. The standard radar the cruise craft offer is the 18 Phantom Radome, but as you can see on this vessel, we've actually upgraded to the four foot, 12 kilowatt XHD open array radar. So behind the Garmin radar here, you can see Garmin's new satellite compass. Using one of the Garmin satellite compass gives us maximum accuracy for our radar overlay and our autopilot heading. To complete this great fishing package, because this boat does so much fishing up and down the east coast of Australia. We do a lot of game fishing. We've aligned ourselves with a great Australian company with Relax, adding the Relax Outriggers and the Relax Shotgun.